Okay, good morning. This will be the last video on this beautiful Friday, October the 9th, that we will do before lunch. And then I will have your math up or between around 1.30 or 1.30 quarter to 2. And then we'll also have a science up at the end of the day so that we can talk a little bit about science, okay? So for your writing today, you have this picture that has this beautiful rain cloud, and the picture says, the rain, okay? The rain. And what it is, is the rain, that is part of my noun. Rain is a noun. We can touch it, we can feel it, we can see it. Rain is a noun. So you're gonna make sentences on the arrows like they did here. So. If we read the sentence that they made, it says, the rain splatters. Splatters is an action. If you drop something, it splatters. If you drop an egg, it just cracks and it goes everywhere. It splatters. If you dump water, it splatters. It, it runs out. It moves out and makes a big mess. That splatters. The rain splatters, okay? So I want you to think of some other things about what the rain does. The rain hurts. It can hurt you. Yeah, you can hurt. Okay, you can action, you can hurt. The rain falls. You can fall, so you can do that. That's an action verb, the rain falls falls. Okay? What else could the rain do? What else does it do when it rains? What does it look like? Some action words. The rain hops. When it hits the ground, it might hop. It bounces, right? Um, the rain... What else? The rain... drops. Okay, the rain drops. You can drop things. The rain spins. Maybe it spins around sometimes. It might twirl a minute before it hits the ground. It blows, right? The rain, what else could be an action verb? The rain, what? Falls. Where is it falls? The rain falls down, yep. So I want you to think of some action words that go along with the rain. The rain is my noun. I want you to put some action verbs. What does the rain do, okay? What else can the rain do, okay, as it falls down? Think of an action verb now. Action verbs, remember, are what you can do. So what can the rain do? What can the rain do? Same thing as people can do. What does the rain do? Okay. Okay. That is your writing. Okay. And then while I have you for writing, I'm going to go on and talk to you a minute, just a minute about some math pages that you might have. S some of you have a math page that looks like this called expanded form. Okay. And what it has is it has our base 10 blocks that we draw, like what we draw, our pictures, our quick draws. If you have this one, then what you're going to do is you're going to count how many hundreds and write it, plus how many tens and write it, plus how many ones. Okay? And you're going to write that in expanded form. So you're just counting like you would in expanded form, okay? Those of you who stayed after school with me for tutoring, we used our blocks like this, okay? The rest of us, we've drawn. So right, some of you have this paper to do in expanded form. Others have this page to do in expanded form. Some of you have this one, okay? So you just need to look at it. The first one says 350. So you would write 300 plus five, plus zero. Label, if you label them hundreds, tens, and ones, you'll be able to do this, hundreds, tens, and ones. Label them and then write it in expanded form. Down at the bottom, 
it says circle the digit, that's the number, circle the digit in the tens place. Well, you've got 790. If you need to, label. Label hundreds, tens, and ones, and then circle the number that it says in the tens place. Some of them ask you in the hundreds place. Some ask you to circle in the ones place. So we're working with expanded form, just a little extra to do today in math. So you have your writing and you have your expanded form paper that you can go on and work, work on. I will have math up after lunch. See you then. Bye.